Hello everybody, welcome back once again to the Bravely Default walkthrough. Alright, so we've just uh, come back to the kingdom of Caldila. Caldila? Caldila? <laughs> I can't remember now how it's supposed to be said. Uh, but yeah, anyways, we need, to, we need to head back to the king. Okay, so rebuilding the village, um, a peek at Norende. Uh, hit right on the control pad or touch the icon at the left of the bottom screen to open up the map menu. Then pick the fourth icon down to visit Norende village. Let's uh, chat here about Agnes's intentions. Agnes, what did you mean you'd resolve the matter? Don't tell me you're thinking of storming the attorney in camp at the Southwest Lake alone. Don't be ridiculous. I'm well aware that I am no match for an airship. Good, it sounds like they have this city in their crosshairs. Besides, as long as these people are held hostage, I have no choice. They didn't seem the types to talk this out. Wait, you wouldn't... you can't. Um, alright, let's, uh, right, so let's check in at the village, which is this icon down here. Uh, all right, so the Norende screen. Let's uh, rebuild Norende. You can give building orders from this screen. Use the touch screen to issue commands. Oops, I forgot. I can't. I can use this. Um, with every street pass, the village gains a new resident. <clears throat> a task that takes one worker an hour only takes two workers 30 minutes. Got 10 residents. You're done in six minutes flat. Um, shops breathe life into a town, touch a site, set the work account, and the building begins. If you'd like to build on rough land, you'll have to till it first. Okay. Uh, nemesis. Now, I don't know if I'm going to be able to use the nemesis things, but um, we'll see here. So anyways, nemesis are mysterious enemies that invade through the net. <laughs> they have two ways into, <clears throat> into your world, sorry. They, um... They can be sent from the server when you update data or sent from others via street pass. When a nemesis icon appears in the village, touch it and select fight. Just watch the recommended level. If you're wiped out, it's game over. The village can hold up to seven nemesis at once. When the eighth arrives, the oldest will disappear unless it's been protected. If there's one you want to fight, protect it. You send to deliver a nemesis to players. You street pass. Nemesis sent from server vanish upon defeat. But if they're sent to you through street pass, you can have your rematch. Uh, 
again, I don't know if I'm going to be able to, <clears throat> excuse me, use that, but, um, but we can at least start on the village now. So I think the first thing I'll do here is, um, let's unlock the bronze armor, uh, in the armor shop. And then I'll just have all 20. So basically how I do this is if I'm going to be actively playing the game, I'll assign, you know, my villagers to one specific, <coughs> excuse me, task. Um, at night, like if you're planning on, you know, or if you're done for the night, then you can divide up your villagers between different tasks, right? Um, you know, again, if you, if you time it out and let's just say that you're, that you're done um, or you're not going to play for eight hours, right? Well, you could s assign one uh, villager person to uh, an eight-hour task, right? And then the, that that one will be done in that eight hours, right? And then that only <clears throat> that only uses one villagers vi or villager. It doesn't do you much good to assign all twenty to an eight-hour task, right? Because you'll be done fairly quickly, um, and you could you know, spread them out over multiple tasks to get more things done in that eight hours, right? Um, because again, unless you're actively assigning these villagers, the things won't get done. So um, that's just generally the way I, uh, the way that I do it. So, all right, let's head out here. Looks like we've got a party chat. So this is Tiz the Navigator. Your sense of direction is so bad it's almost magical, Agnes. What? Surely it's not so. How many times did you get lost in that ravine? There was only one path. Then it took you two hours to find me at the top despite perfect visibility. Er, the canyon path was very twisty. I'm certain it's a maze even to the locals. Ha ha ha, not really. But at least this way I have an excuse to tag along and, er, never mind. Stay close. The lake we make for is said to be unreachable by any but the most knowledgeable. Right, of course. Mm-hmm, I'll bet. So, um, where do you plan... What do you plan to do once we get there on this? <clears throat> that is no concern of yours, Tiz. I have no choice. Not as long as they have the people of Kaldila in their sights. Be fine, enemy or no, they are men, not monsters. Eh, we'll see about that. All right, so let's check in at the village now. Obviously, our uh, first uh, armor shop has been upgraded. Uh, so here, presents for Narende. Uh, build an item shop, a combat item shop, or a compound shop, and they'll reward you with periodic presents. Raise the building level, and the prizes get fancier, too. Uh, build a shop. You can buy items uh, through the adventure from anywhere in the world. This is one of the best parts about the adventure shop is all the stuff that's available in this village uh, becomes purchable, purchasable at these uh, adventurer guys. So it's really convenient. Uh, raise the building level of your shops to improve their inventory. Uh, you can get special moves and parts immediately after building or leveling up is complete. Okay, so um, we could go with the, the brigandine. I'm going to do that next. I'm going to put 10 here, though. So that'll be 9 minutes. 
and then we'll do 10 over here which I do realize that I said that I wasn't gonna do this right I wasn't gonna split them but I lied <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's save here, and um, let's see here. Yeah, we've got save this and continue. All right, so let's head on out here. All right, so let's head on over to the lake, and we'll go do this. I think this is just a boss fight. On with the punching indeed. Alright, so here I'm gonna swap this back to side by side. I wish there was a quick way to do that, but oh well. Um, Alright, so now uh, this is the first boss battle. Uh, I'm gonna do things, um, I guess, probably a little bit safer here. Let's do. I'm gonna default uh, both of them. 
One more here. All right. Uh, so now we've got three BP built up. So uh, I'm going to do a couple of Braves to get back to... Yeah, let's get back to... We'll get back to zero. Um, so I'm going to examine... Barris first. Oops. Actually, let's examine Holly as well. No, no, no. Here. All right. We'll do that with uh, Anya's. All right. So we'll attack uh, Holly first. All right. Now, uh, <clears throat> same thing. We'll do. Uh, Salmon Holly, Salmon Barris, and then attack Holly. All right. So she's got two, two something. There she's got quite a bit more, 400, 405, something like that. Oof. Okay, uh, so at this point now, I'm just going to blow uh, all of my Braves. Actually, here, let's do... Uh... Actually, I'm going to default with her. She's, um, no, let's do a, let's do a potion instead. She's a little bit, a little bit too messed up for my, uh, for my liking. And this should take her out. Nope. Wow. All right. Wow, she has way more health than I remember. Uh-oh, uh-oh, oh! All right, well, that's the problem with uh, doing a bunch of uh, Braves back-to-back. -back. So let's get him back up. Oh, and she cured. Ugh. Yeah, I prob probably should have played a little bit safer. Heal her back up. All right, so let's... Uh... It stinks that she used uh, Protect because now I'm going to be doing a lot less damage to her. Potion here on Tiz. I'm gonna default again here. And one last default. And I should be able to take out uh, Holly this turn. There we go, finally. <clears throat> um, if I remember correctly here, uh, Barris is going to kind of explode when he dies too, so uh, we need to be a little bit careful about that. I 
think I can just kind of go full bore now too. Nice couple crits there at the end. We're going to heal up on yes. Actually, no. You know what? I'm going to go full attack with Tiz because he's stronger. I feel like, feel like I've used way more potions this time than any of the other times I did this too. Oh, there's the explosion. <laughs> All right. Um, and I don't know if, like, if you can finish him off faster. Uh, it seemed like every time I've fought him, he's he's done whatever that is there at the end, where he just explodes when he dies. So, I would say probably just, you know, make sure that you're not too low on health. Alright, both characters leveled. Got a ranked up, or rank two job for Agnes as well. And here we get our first uh, jobs. All right, so we got the monk asterisk. Um, I'm going to, hang on, let me just change the, change the view back here to larger screen. <clears throat> All right, so here's the monk. All right, so it says monk here. Hi. High br er, a brute strength attacker, high HP and P attack, powerful attacks with bare hands. Uh, specialty is knuckle lore. Uh, job command is martial arts. Um, and then it kind of just explains that there's stats. You know, <clears throat> Monk has really high uh, HP strength uh, and oh, or pretty decent agility as well. And then um, for arms aptitude, it's just stabs and knuckles. Um, so very much a physical attacker. <clears throat> there we go, excuse me. Uh, and then this should be the white mage asterisk. Uh, here it says, aids allies with healing and support magic skill that white ma magic favors stabs. Specialty is self-healing there. Self-healing, I think, just like at the end of a turn. If you have certain status effects on you, they get cleared, which is pretty nice. Uh, and then MPA, uh, mind is an A as well. So obviously very much more a, you know, cast, caster orientation. Uh, and then as far as arms aptitude, their staves are an S and then they're also okay with daggers as well. So, <clears throat> all right. Okay, so let's head back to the city. Um, all right, so uh, changing jobs. Officers of the Eternian forces each hold magical items called asterisks that help bestow new jobs, defeat them, and claim their asterisk to acquire their job. 
Uh, select job from the menu. Changing jobs affects your base stats and determines your equipment aptitude. Pay close attention when gearing up. Uh, command abilities. So abilities used in combat. Each job has a job command with command abilities falling under that heading. The monk's job command, martial arts, for example, contains the command abilities strong, strike, and invigorate. Passive abilities that wor work just by being equipped. Uh, for a monk, these include HP 10% up, knuckle lore, etc., each ability has a cost. Equip as many as you can afford. Uh, your current job's abilities. Uh, one other job's job command. Uh, support abilities up to max cost. Pick and mix to create your own ultimate custom fighting style. <clears throat> so yeah. Uh, <clears throat> a lot of similarities to... Oh yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave both of these two as freelancer for now, I think. Um, but yeah, very similar to uh, Final Fantasy Tactics job system. Uh, let's head into town here. Um, okay, magic. Use magic to cast a spell. You need the spell sp scroll, the corresponding ability. The party can all share a single scroll, and abilities have level limits, as in white magic level 2. Okay. Um, let's, uh, let's check in with our... Jesus, this is way too small. Can't see anything here. All right, let's do the side by side. Okay, <clears throat> so our armor shop is complete. So we've unlocked the brigadine level two, and then I did the trader shop, right? So we got the potion and the teleport stones are available now. Uh, red caps are next here, and antidote and eye drops are here. I'm actually going to do this next because antidotes and eye drops are really important. Those are one of those items that it's super convenient to have that unlocked. So we're going to work on that next. Um, I guess I'll leave this split screen for now. And let's save here. And um, all right, let's uh, we'll just see here. So <clears throat> there, because we've unlocked the... Um, the trader or the, the item shop in the Narendi village. Uh, now those items are available here. So we can now buy potions and teleport stones from uh, the trader. And then we can also buy bronze armor right now and brigadine. Um, both are pretty good. Brigadine is really good. Yeah. Um, all right, let's actually head up here. What I'm actually going to buy though first is a uh, cure from the uh, shop over here. Actually I'm going to buy all of these. Um, so that's all the white magic spells. Those, are all, those will be really useful here. <clears throat> and um, let's also set that up for everybody's magic. So here we'll just set up uh, white magic on him uh, for the extra job command. So that means the way that these two are set up, they're still technically freelancers, but they've still got, uh, or they're able to now use white magic spells uh, because we've got that set up as their second uh, skill set. So again, just like uh, Final, Fantasy, Fan Ugh, Final Fantasy Tactics, right, where you could you know, be a monk that can cast white mage spells, that sort of thing. Um, yeah, you know what? I think I'm going to cut this one here just because we're getting towards the end so all right as always i hope the guidance was helpful and hope you join me for more videos thanks for watching